Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to start learning about CSS and the basic of CSS. So, if you want to learn CSS like HTML, you can go to W3School and start learning uh, from here by yourself. But uh, in the video, of course, I am going to show you step by step. So, I will create a file first for the introduction for the CSS. This is going to be 0, 017. This is our day 18 and uh, the, our file would be day 17 and I will write the intro to css.html This is just the introduction, how you use CSS, how you can color, how you can design your website with the basic CSS stuff. So I will just uh, put a little code from HTML here and I will write the title as intro to CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet which design your website basically if you see any website it looks good that is because this is the power of css html is just the backbone just a structure if i open my the the d6 the d16 or any other html file from the previous videos you can check that our website does not look good and this is just the basic thing we we have learned as if i open any any of the file here let's say the table it, it does not have any design so if you want to your website to look good uh, look something like this or better than this so this is the power of css to design this so how you are going to write the css okay this is very simple the way you write css just go anywhere in your file uh, for now i will say anywhere but in the future i will show you how where you should write where is the best place to write your css for now you can come uh, after the head here just open the style tag here open and close it here you can write your css for now if you are having a uh, 10 line or 20 line of css you can write it here and you can put your html here let's start then using how how the css is going to work it is very simple it is uh, the basic is simpler than html but uh, when it gets a little bit uh, advanced the all you need to do is to have a little bit creativity to use the basics uh, of the CSS and you can design a very good looking website. That's it. The basic is very simple, but when it gets to advanced, just need a little, a little creativity, which I am going to show you how you will become creative in the web design too. So if we have an H1 here, let's say hello CSS3. Of course, you are going to use the version 3 of the CSS is the version 3 which has a lots of new properties which we'll discuss in the future now in in css it is very um, common to understand the basics so the basics is, uh, are three things you should know first you select something then you uh, apply a property and give the property a value first thing selector selector is the most important thing in css there are different way you can select something this is called an element Someone once asked me, what is the difference between element and tag? Sometimes I say, this is the h1 element. Sometimes I say, this is the h1 tag. This is h2 tag, h3 tag, paragraph tag. Sometimes I say, the div element. What is the difference between them? This by itself is a tag. With the content is called element. Now, h1 is a tag. But h1 with its content is called element. So when I call h1 element, I mean h1 with all its content so now if i am going to select this one the the h1 element i just write h1 and then now i select this one this is the selector part and i will i will open the bracket starting here and ending here nothing more and inside this one we we will write property properties are the basic and uh, thing in css which have a value property just uh, define something it, these are the words in english and this just give a definition and then you give a value for them let's say we change the color you write the color and now you can select the color let's say we say the color should be blue for now the h1 should uh, be blue if i come to my css open it as you can see the color is blue the same thing as you can see it is very simple you write the color you put a colon here then you write the color name and close it with a semicolon a semicolon Words like a full stop in English. The next thing, let's change the font size. You can write font size here and let's give them 22 pixel. It is going to be a little bit small. As you can see, now it is small. 
because this is h1 h1 by default they give a very large uh, font you can give them let's say 32 it will be a bit larger this is another font so this is very uh, common in css that you should know um, firstly the selector the property the value the property the value this is it this is css selector this is css property and this is the value which are always changing and you can change and these properties are predefined you cannot write from your own something you you want to write these are predefined and the the values are whatever you want to give and some values of course you cannot give them a let's say a blue pixel you cannot write something like that it should be a valid color name or a hash or something like that which we will discuss in the future that's it this is the basic of css you just write a style here closing here you select uh, your element and you give them a style so that is the basic in the next video we will learn more about the selectors and where you can find more resources for the the thing for um, today which i am going to show you is as a resource there is a website called uh, code drops if you search code drops the website is the website name is tempanus.net slash code drops and as you can see the name is useful resources and inspiration for creativity for creative minds here you can find a lot of uh, web design resource here this is the website that every web designer must know about if you go to the css reference here you will learn everything uh, all about every property of the css this is a little bit advanced for now but as you go further in your css courses you should come here and learn about everything you need to know about css for now you should know uh, the code drops their website this is the popular because of code drops not because tempanus because if you search tempanus it will show the website it show nothing it will uh, uh, redirect you to code drops here and they will give you a lot of tutorials playgrounds blueprints and collective which are very important in the future we, i will use some of their project and i will show you how you can use their project for your own uh, personal projects too so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any questions so far feel free to ask and i will see you in the next video i will upload two videos for today because this is going to be very short